traffic chaos resulted from the open deck bus tour around Bristol as thousands lined the route to catch a glimpse of their favourite player and the trophy. So marvellous scenes in Bristol and a chance now to relive just a few of those moments at Wembley as we turn the clock back now to Saturday morning. It was one of the biggest mass exoduses of Bristol ever. A staggering 250 coaches, special trains and countless cars off to London for the day to watch Bristol City play Bolton Wanderers in the final of the Freight Rover Trophy. 30,000 West Country soccer fans all heading towards Wembley. The headquarters of English soccer was a sea of red and black and for the fans this was to be a day they were going to let their hair down. And inside the atmosphere was fantastic. As three o'clock approached, 54 and a half thousand fans were ready for the off. And for City fans, an early shock. Bolton's corner fell to Coldwell, who hammered the ball against the crossbar. Waff well beaten. Well, that rallied City, because moments later, it looked as if Rob Newman had scored from a header. Glyn Riley caused havoc in Bolton's defence, and this good move ended up with a Riley shot going just wide. By now, it was all City. The nerves had gone, and this floated cross found Pritchard, and Farnworth needed to make a good save to deny the Robins. Well, that sort of pressure had to play off, and it did in the 44th minute. A throw into Curl, a super centre, and Bobby Hutchinson went up, Farnworth fumbled, Riley did the rest. Well, Riley should have made it 2-0 at the start of the second period. The goal was at his mercy, but look what happened. With Bolton having to push forward, City started to dominate in midfield. It was only a matter of time before Bolton's goal came under severe pressure. It all came to be from a move on the left. Neville shot, Farmer fumbles, Pritchard scores. And the nail in Bolton's coffin came six minutes from time. Pritchard put Neville away. Neville found space and put in the perfect cross and just watch out for the flying Riley. <laughs> Riley's second goal and his celebration antics cost him a sudden bout of cramp. Lots of pain, but it didn't matter then. Well, to everyone at Wembley, the game seemed to last only minutes because before we knew what was happening, the referee had blown for the last time and City had won the trophy. <laughs> Bristol City's captain, Bobby Hutchinson, then accepted the trophy from Saint and Greasy. He gave it a jolly good kiss and then showed it to his fans.
Well, there was even a big hand of congratulations from the Bolton fans, and in a chance to see a medal, Alan Walsh grabbing the match ball as well. And then a chat with the man of the match, Steve Neville. It's a bit of a uh, uh, stadium and half, isn't it? Yeah, we'll leave it there, won't you? Yeah. Well, don't, well, you might not come back again, so you've got to make the most of it. Yeah, I'm going to start training with it. Have you been playing all after today? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't believe it. I've played through the uh, I can't talk to you, mate. Oh, come on, come on. So, tears of joy from a man speechless with emotion.